Throwback Thursday and I am going to tell you a story. So a few years back, there was a gentleman whose dog kept getting out of his yard. And every time he would come in, the staff would give him a very stern talking to about how irresponsible it was of him to not care for his pet properly and that um, we couldn't believe that he was so careless that his dog kept getting out. And every time we would tell him that we're upping the, we're increasing the amount he would have to pay to get his pet back. To the point where when his pet did come back, he didn't come back. And we ended up doing, okay, we're right. Good for us. We saved that dog from a bad owner. And then we adopt the dog out to this lovely, lovely family. And guess what? That dog came in as a stray and came in as a stray again. And you know why? Because the dog was Houdini. That's right. He could figure out how to get out of anything. So what we learned from this situation is that if we had provided the original owner with more support, if we went out and looked at his home and tried to mend his fence or give him support and, and tips on what maybe we could do to help him, even providing him with, with training, um, we may have kept that family together. And it was really through our judgment of thinking that he should be perfect that we ended up splitting a family apart. So that's why at Panhandle Animal Shelter, we really try to focus on how we can keep families together. If there are bad situations and pets are at risk, really talking to the owner and trying to find out what can we do to help you keep your pet. Um, looking at people that they have positive intentions. That man, he kept coming back for his dog. He was super frustrated too. And us shaming him every single time he came in actually didn't do him or his dog any good. So now our culture is much more friendly and open and we, we, we do fall short. We're human, but we will try our best to really support the human-animal bond and keeping families together rather than tearing them apart.